All right, good evening, everybody. This is Miss Harris. <clears throat> Pardon my, my voice, been a little under the weather. Today I'm going to be teaching you about logarithmic functions. A logarithmic equation is just another way to write an exponential equation. So right up here where it says um, y equals log base b of x, it can be written as an exponential where you take the base that's on the log, which is right here, and you raise it to the opposite power to equal what's inside of the log. So the base on the log becomes your base on your, your power. So b to the y power equals x. And it's a little clarification, a little domain restrictions. a can, has to be greater than 1. a does not equal 1. That actually should say b. It needs to be greater than 0, and b can't be 1. All right, so uh, down here we have some examples of just getting used to the definition of logarithm. So if it's given to you as a logarithmic, you're going to take the base on the log, which in this first example is 7. You're going to raise it to the opposite side. 7 to the second power equals 49. So that's how you can rewrite a logarithm as an exponential. Over here on the example 2, the base would be 8. You're going to raise it to the one-third power. And that equals 2. By the way, one-third power means the cube root of 8, or what times itself three times gives you 8, and the answer is 2. A uh, couple more just for practice. 3 to the fourth power equals what's inside the log, 81. And the base over in example 4, base is 5 to the third power equals 125. <clears throat> now, what if they you're given an exponential and asked to write it as a log. Well, first thing I always identify is the base. So in this power, the base is 4. So this is going to be log base 4 of 64 equals what your exponent was. It's just undoing using the definition of a log. In example 5, the base is 2. So we're going to have log base 2 of 1 eighth. I like to put my fractions in parentheses like that. That way, that's a little mess up there. But log base 2 of 1 8 equals negative 3. Ooh, my handwriting. Wow. And down here, example 6 and example... Uh, I've got two example 6s. This should say example 7. Uh, the base in example 6 is 25. So log base 25 of 5 is equal to 1 half. And last example down here on example 7, the base is 7, so you would rewrite that as log base 7 of 2401 equals 4. And that's how you can re rewrite or change from a logarithm, logarithmic equation to an exponential or from an exponential to a logarithmic. Okay, now the first logarithmic uh, function I want to talk about is the common log. And it's called the common log because it occurs so frequently in mathematics. Common logarithm always has a base of 10. So if there's not a base on a logarithm, it's assumed that is to the base of 10. So when you see, like here an example, it just says log of 19. On your calculator, let me see if I can pull that up. On your calculator, the log button that you see that you've probably seen before and wonder what it was for. I'm trying to get that to come over here. And stay. Uh, the log right here, which is to the left of the 7, that is the common log function. It's just plain log, so we know it's log base 10. Above it, you can see is 10 to some power because if you rewrote the logarithm as, as an exponential, the base would be 10 being raised to the x power. So this is called the common log. And you can just type in your calculator to get the log of um, to get the log of 19. So I'm going to do that real quick. So turn your calculator on. There we go. Log of 19. And you don't have to close the parentheses if you don't want to. If you're OCD, go ahead. And it said to round to four decimal places on this example. I see it will not let me write 
and use the calculator at the same time. So we got, if I'm going to the fourth decimal place, that would be the 72787, and that second seven right there, you're going to round up to an eight. So 1.2788. And if you did the log of 0.75, let's do that on the calculator. Log 0.75, you get negative 0.1249. So uh, if you have a common log, a log with no base, it's really easy to use. It's on the the face of your calculator. Now, let's look over, or right below here, it wants you to write an equivalent exponential or, log or logarithmic function. The first example, example A here, is written as an exponential. So who's the base? The base is 10. So you could write that. You could write it as log base 10 of 400 equals x. But because it's the common log, that's really unnecessary, so you can just write log of 400. Uh, it's no different than saying, hey, how old are you? Well, I'm, I'm 17 over one years old. Well, you're really just 17. So if you have log base 10, that's really just log of 400. Uh, in example B over here to the right, there is no base on the log down here, so I know it's 10 to the fifth power. 10 to the fifth equals x. And we're just practicing writing an equivalent expression right there. Okay, the next base I want to talk to you about is log base E. Uh, before I can talk about log base E, I probably need to explain what E is. E is a constant like pi. Pi is 3.14 blah, 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 crap. Uh, it's an irrational number whose decimal never stops and never repeats. E is the same. So it's a constant, its value never changes, it's irrational, and the decimal never stops or repeats. E is approximately 2.718282, sorry, 2.718281828. It looks like it repeats there, but it does not. Uh, if we look on the calculator, there's a couple of places where you can find uh, E. The first place is above the division button. So you could hit second E. So let me, let me do that and show you. So I could hit second division, which brings up the E. And that's, that's the constant E. That is the number E, not the letter E. You'll notice the letter E uh, is above the sign button. So this is a constant. And on the calculator, you'll also notice that pi is right above that. So right above the constant E is the constant pi. I was going to show you right. Whoops, there's pi, there's E. Those are your two constants. So you hit second and that button. But if I want to, if I want to find E a different place on the calculator, we're going to go back over to the left where the log button was here. That was the common log, log base 10. Well, right below it is the LN button. That stands for natural log. I know, why is it not NL? I think it has to do with uh, the original language that this was done in, but in the adjective coming afterwards. But anyway, this is natural log. LN is natural log. And you'll notice above it, it's E to a power. So that's telling me on natural log, the base is E. So let's practice with the calculator. There's two ways you can get to, two places you can get. Come on, little calculator to the E. We can use either use second divide. It's not cooperating with me today. So natural log is log base E of X. Natural log of X, same thing. Let me jump back up here. Let's do E to the sixth. So I'm going to hit second natural log. That's another place where the E is. And if I type in E to the six, I get approximately 403. Point four two eight eight says around to four decimal places. All right, now I also could have done the
the problem by using the second divide key. So I'm going to do example B here. Second divide to the 2.5 power. I use the caret key to do raise it to a power. And that's going to be approximately, whoops, did it again. It's going to be approximately 12.1825. Okay, <clears throat> so let's jump down here. It says use a calculator to evaluate ex each expression for decimal places. What's the natural log of 24? Well, the natural log of 24, I would hit the LN button. 24 equals this. So we get approximately 3.1781. Now we're typing in the calculator, we're getting, we're evaluating some stuff, we're getting numbers. What does that mean? Okay, so I want us to go back over here and go over here to the left. So this problem, ln of 24 equal question mark. So if I were to rewrite that log as an exponential, the base over here on natural log is e. So e to what power gives me 24? Well, we got the number 3.1781. So on the calculator, I'm going to type in e. So I'm going to hit second natural log. E to what power? I want this 3.178 blah, blah, blah stuff. <clears throat> so I'm going to hit second and the negative button, which is the previous answer. <coughs> Excuse me. So E to the previous answer should give us 24. Let's see if it does. You get 24. So that's what we're doing. Yes, we can type it in a calculator, but what is it? It's just another way to write an exponential. So now let's do natural log of uh, 0.75, so ln 0.75, and I get approximately 0.2877. So that's some places you can see log and natural log on the calculator. Down here next it says write an equivalent exponential or logarithmic equation. Well the first example, example A, is as an exponential because there's no log there. There's no natural log, no log. It's, a, it's e to the negative x power. So we have a power. The base is e. So that would be log base e or just natural log of 2 equals negative x. All we're doing here is rewriting the exponential as a logarithmic. Example B, we want to write the logarithmic function as an exponential. How did I know it was a logarithmic function? It has ln in it. ln means log base e. So the base on this is e, and I'm going to raise that to the 0.35 power, and that's going to equal what was inside the log x. Okay, next what I want to do is I want to evaluate different logs that don't have a base of 10, which is the common log, or base E, which is the natural log. There's no, those are the only two buttons on the faceplate of our calculator are, that you can do logs, like log base 10 and natural log log base E. But th you will often have other log bases, like different bases for your logs. So on the calculator, you're going to hit alpha window, number 5, which is log base, and this is, this last little screen is a screenshot of what's going to come up on your calculator. So let's do the first one. Oops, I've got the marker selected. There we go. So I want to do log base 4 of 4096. So I hit alpha window number 5. By the way, if you arrow down to 5, that's okay, but that takes more time, so I just press number 5. Log base 4. I wrote inside the parentheses, 4096. So our answer here is 6. Now, go back to what does that mean? We set this up equals question mark. We didn't know what it equals. So 
basically, we're saying take the base to the opposite power. 4 to what power equals 4096? That's what I'm figuring out. And 4 to the 6th power. 4 to the 6th power equals 4096. All right, so the, the rest of these we can do pretty quickly. Uh, whoops. Let me get rid of that. So let's do log base 12. So I've got to have a different base, so alpha window 5. Alpha window 5. Log base 12 of 1728. If you're wondering, yep, that was the first year I started teaching. We get 3. All right. The answer is 3. That's a weird looking 3. And let's go back and do the last one. Log base 5, so it's a different base. So alpha window 5. Log base 5 of 2000. And this one we would have to round, so we're going to get 4.72 2, and that rounds it to 7. And since I approximate that, that would be, well, squiggles for approximately, if it exactly equaled it, you would use it equal like that. Okay, next I'm going to go over the properties of logarithms. There's four basic properties you have to know for logarithms. The product property, the quotient property, the power property, and the equality comp uh, property, which I like to call common sense. So now this is probably going to look a little weird for some of y'all. We have log base B in, in the product property. We have log base B of M plus log base B of N equals log base B of M times N. Now that looks, you're like, what is that? So what it's saying is if you have two logs with the same base. Notice they're both base B. We can compress that into one big happy log, log base B, and you multiply what's on the inside of the two logs. So here's an example. So if I have log base 2 of, let's just say 7, plus log base 2 of X, you can compress that into one big happy log, log base 2, and you're going to multiply the stuff on the inside. 7 times x is 7x. So that's compressed into one big happy log. Now, in the quotient property, you'll notice you have a log base b of m minus a log base b of n. And if you're subtracting the two logs, you're going to compress them as one big happy log, log base b, and you're going to divide what's on the inside. So the first term divided by the second one, so m over n. So an example of that would be log base 3 of, we'll just say x, plus log base 3 of 4. We can write that as one big happy log, log base 3 of x divided by 4. That's the quotient property. So how can you not get these two mixed up? <clears throat> if you're adding two logs, you multiply what's on the inside. If you're subtracting two logs, you divide what's on the inside. Okay? Just simple properties. You have to just follow the rules. Uh, the power property says this. If you have a coefficient, a number out in front of a log base B of M, you can take that coefficient and make it become the power on M. So P times log base B of M becomes log base B of M to the P power. Okay? This would be the compressed side. This would be the expanded side. So let's do a couple of these. So if I have a 2 log base 4 of x, that becomes log base 4 of x squared because the 2 becomes the power. That's why it's called the power property. Now, most of the time in logarithmic uh, problems, we're, we're using it the opposite way. So what if I gave it to you already compressed, like log base 3 of 81. Uh, let me back it up, take that one off. Log base 3 of y to the fourth power. 
you can move the exponent out to the front, it becomes 4 log base 3 of y. This last property is called the equality property. I prefer to call it common sense property. It's a conditional statement. It says if log base b of m is equal to log base b of n, then m must equal n. Now, why do I call that the common sense property? Because if you have log base b of some stuff, and it's equal to log base b of some stuff, then the two stuffs must equal. Because log base b and log base b are both the same. So if this is an equation, the m must equal the n. So this is very simple. Uh, if I have log of x equal to log of 14. By the way, I didn't put a base on that log. So what base is that? That's base 10. That's common log. So log base 10 of x equals log base 10 of 14. The two logs are the same. Therefore, the stuff inside has to be the same. x must equal 14. So I thought I would just do a few examples for you of how you might see logs. Um, I think you can expand and compress them pretty easy in the basic defini definitions, but one of the reasons we use logs is to solve exponentials, and then other times they'll, they'll give you an equation with logs in them, they just want you to solve for x. So let's look at an example. So if I have log base 4, of 3x minus 2, and that is set equal to log base 4 of, I don't know, let's just make something up, 19. So log base 4 of 3x minus 2 is equal to log base 4 of 19. So you have a log equal to a log. You have log base 4 on the left, a log base 4 on the right. If the two logs are equal, the stuff inside them has to be equal. So 3x minus 2 must be equivalent to 19. And now you're going to solve this two-step equation like you would in algebra 1. You're going to add 2, add 2. You get 3x equals 21. And then you're going to divide by 3, divide by 3. So x equals 7. So what we did is we found the value of x that would make this true. So if you go back up here and plug 7 in right here, 3 times 7 is 21, 21 minus 2 is 19, log base 4 of 19 equals log base 4 of 19. Okay, I got another example this time. It just has one logarithm. So when you have one logarithm, and it's just one log, because there's no number out here in front, it's just one. All right, what you're going to do, and I'm going to take that off because one log is just log. Um, <coughs> we're going to rewrite the logarithm as an exponential. So I'm going to take the base on the log, raise it to the opposite power, and set it equal to what is on the inside of the parentheses or inside of the log. So 2 to the 5th means 2 times itself 5 times, so that becomes 32. And that equals x minus 4. So if you're solving for x, you're going to add 4 on the right, add 4 on the left. 36 must be what x equals. And that's your answer. So you could check your work right here. You could go back up here and plug 36 in. 36 minus 4 is 32. So does log base 2 of 32, does that equal 5? Well, you could use your calculator to prove that because we have the log base button. So over here you would hit alpha window 5, log base 2, of 32 equals 5. Just one way to check your work right there. All right, so let's look at an example solving in a logarithmic equation. I notice we have two logs, but they're both on the same side. It's not a log equals a log, so we can't use the common sense property. <clears throat> so what we want to do is compress the <clears throat> these two logs into one big happy log because they have the same base. So, we're going to make one big happy log. All right, so log base 3 plus a log base 3, that's the product property. So we're going to have log base 3 of 4, 
what's inside here times what's inside here. So that's four times a binomial. So you're going to have to use the distributed property. Oops, wrong number. So inside that parentheses, we need to distribute the four. So I have log base three of four times x is four x. Four times negative five is negative 20 equals three. <clears throat> so I just went from two logs down to one log. Once you get it down to one log, that's when you want to rewrite your logarithm as an exponential. So I'm going to take the base and raise it to the opposite power. So 3 to the third power equals what's inside the log, 4x minus 20. So to solve this, 3 to the third is 27 equals 4x minus 20. I'm going to add 20 to both sides, so it gives me 47 equals 4x. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So my answer would be 47 fourths, and I would just leave it as a fraction. That doesn't reduce. That's what x, that's the value of x that makes this a true equation. Okay, next example, we're solving for x. Um, I have log of x minus log of 5 equals 2. Well, I notice I have two logs. It's not log equals log, so it's not common sense property. The two logs are on the same side together. So I need to compress this into one big happy log. Since there's no base, that's log base 10. That's called the common log. So they do have the same base, base 10. So we're going to combine them. But since it's a log minus a log, we're going to do divide what's on the inside. So it's the first term over the second one. So we're going to write that as one big happy log, log, log of x over 5 equals 2. <clears throat> Once you get from one log down, sorry, two logs down to one log, and you're trying to solve for x, how do you get rid of the logarithm? You rewrite the log as an exponential. So we take the base on log, which is, if it's a plain log, it's base 10. We raise that to the second power, and it equals what was inside the log. So 10 squared is 100, <coughs> equals x over 5. And to solve for x, to get rid of divide by 5, you would multiply by 5 and multiply by 5. Ooh, is that a 5, really? Try it again. And on the right, <clears throat> the 5 that you're multiplying divided by is cancel. That gives you 1x. And 5 times 100 is 500. So x is 500. Okay, another example with logs. This is the natural log, which means they're all log base e. <clears throat> I don't have one log. I don't have two. I have three. Now, the two on the left, what we want to do is combine that into one big happy log, compress it together. So a natural log minus a natural log is going to be a natural log, and you're going to divide what's on the inside. So I'm going to take 2x divided by 3. So just like that, we went from three logs, we're down, down to two logs. And you have a log equals a log, a natural log equals natural log. So the two natural logs are the same, so the stuff on the inside must be the same. That's called the common sense property or the equality property. So 2x over 3 must equal 4. And then to solve for x, the first thing I would do is multiply by 3. That leaves you with 2x equals 12, and then I would divide by 2. So the value of x that makes this true is 6. Now, I'm, I'm trying to keep pretty simple questions here, um, just working on the properties of logarithms. If you're in college algebra or pre-cal or something like that, they're probably going to give you some binomials up in here inside there. You might have to foil them together and then solve a quadratic. But I'm not really working on quadratic skills right now. I'm working on logarithmic skills. That's why I'm keeping the numbers easy. Okay, this next example says solve for x, and what you're going to notice is x is the exponent. Uh, this is the main reason why we have to learn logarithms. Uh, we don't know how to get rid of the base of 3. All through algebra before now, we could like, what's attached to x? Oh, it's multiplying by 2, so we divide by 2. What's attached to x plus 5? Then we minus 5. But what's attached to x this time is a base of 3 and also the minus 4. 
So we have to use logarithms and logarithmic properties to get rid of base 3. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add 4 and add 4. And so that's going to leave me with 3 to some power equals 12. How do I get rid of base 3? Well, I'm going to rewrite my logarithm or my exponential as a logarithmic function. So the base is 3, so this would be log base 3 of 12 equals x. Log base 3 of 12 equals x. This can be put in the calculator using the, the log base function. So let me do that real quick. So we could do, pull this over here. Didn't want to turn on. There we go. So alpha window 5, log base 3 of 12 equals. So we get 2, oops, I do it every darn time. <laughs> 2.2619. And that's approximately what x will equal in this problem. Which, if, let's make it make a little sense up here. Um, up here we have 3 to some power equals 12. Well, I know 3 to the first is 3. 3 squared is 9. And I know 3 to the third is 27. Well, we had 12. 12 is in between 9 and 27. It's also closer to 9 than to 27. So our answer should have been closer to 2 than to 3. And look, it is. It's 2.2619.